You used to be a ballet dancer. Did you ever think it should have been you rather than your husband on Strictly Come Dancing? On Strictly, I never ever thought it should have been me instead of Paul because I thought he did brilliantly for someone who's never danced. But I would love to do Strictly. Who would you like to win Strictly now Paul has left the show? Oh, that's a really difficult question. Um, they're all done so brilliantly and I just love Patsy Kensett for her personality. And um, But I think if I had to give a tip if someone was having a bet who was going to win, I think it might be Scott. He just seems to have stayed at a certain level throughout the series. But my favourites on Strictly are the band and the backing singers. I'd go and watch just them, even if there weren't any dancers. <laughs> so what do you think about Gavin Henson? Gavin Henson, well, yes, if I was 20 years younger, I might have a twinkle in my eye for Gavin. Do you think you could teach me some ballet? <laughs> teach you some ballet? Well, um, possibly. I think it might be a bit difficult, though, for you. <laughs> you toured with ABBA. What was it like? Did you get to wear some well glam outfits? I had a fantastic time touring with ABBA and they were really lovely. I wore fabulous outfits, you know, very 80s, um, bell bottom lycra trousers and cat suits and things. It was really good fun. Groovy. <laughs> <laughs> You're groovy. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been on quite a few reality TV shows. Which one is your favourite? I don't really have a favourite of reality um, programmes. They're quite hard to do, actually. But I suppose if I had to pick one, it was probably The Farm. I think I learnt the most on The Farm. You have a new cookbook coming out called Dine with Deb on Celebrity Come Down With Me. You cooked a great Thai curry. I love curry. What's your favourite curry? Um, my favourite curry is a Thai curry. That's why I cooked it on Come Dine With Me. And what do you think of India curries? Because my mum cooks a well witted curry. <laughs> I could quite easily eat curry sort of every other night of the week. I think I love curry, so I love Indian curries too. Good stuff. And what's Louis Theroux like? Louis Theroux is great fun, really good guy, very knowledgeable. Um, I was very impressed when I worked with Louis. He comes across a bit geeky. Is he like that in the flesh? When you meet Louis Theroux in person, he's not a geek at all. I know some people think he is, but he's not. You've had a long, successful career in TV. What would you say is your favourite moment? I've done so many television shows over the years, it's really hard to pick out one favourite moment. Um, lots of the Christmas shows that we did for the BBC were my favourites, I think, to record. And what would you say was your most embarrassing moment? It's easy to pick up my most embarrassing moment on television, which luckily wasn't shown. But when we were recording, I had a quick change and I walked out in a pair of trousers with my flies undone. And my husband, Paul Daniels, picked me up on it. And I had to go back out and change, well, do them up. Lovely jubbly. And what would you spend a million pounds on? Uh, if someone gave me one million pounds today, I would give it to a children's charity, but I'm not sure which one at the moment. Not Richard House. I think they might get a portion of it. Wink, yeah. wink. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. And finally, can I call you the lovely Debbie McGee? Of course you can call me the lovely Debbie McGee. What time should I call you? <laughs> <laughs>